Mm. All right, y'all. Uh, sorry, there's tears in my eyes, but uh, been reading some very real emails tonight, and um, as you can see by the title, we're getting into something real serious and something that we talk about on this channel a lot, you guys. But um, I want to send my love to you guys, man, in these dark, sick times that we're living in. You know, we're living in some dark times, you guys. People are struggling at an all-time high, man. Even the ones who made the ultimate sacrifice. I want to send my love to the ones who made the ultimate sacrifice, man. Salute. We send our love and condolences to the family and friends of our fallen soldiers and heroes out there as well. All the brave men and women out there. God bless all you and your family, man. But uh, before I get into this, I apologize, y'all. Uh, I want y'all to see this video. And I want to tell my brother that I love him, man. And thank you for your service. And to anybody that's watching today, I encourage y'all to spread that love, man. To one another. Especially to our vets, man. You never know what they're going through. Tons. Right now as we speak. And there's people right now watching today's video that suffer from suicidal thoughts. Depression. Anxiety. PTSD. It's real, y'all. But before we get into this reaction. Y'all check this video out. And I want to tell my brother. Anthony, I love you, brother. And God bless you and your family. Check this out, y'all. Rick, Bubbles, first off, I want to say I love you guys. And I appreciate everything y'all do. You have more an effect on people than you guys even realize. And I can speak for myself that you've even done that for me. Um, Rick, you and I have talked via email a couple of times I sent you those pictures of my boys and everything um, but um, as a military veteran I've lost four brothers that I served with three of which I grew up with to suicide and unfortunately I found two of their bodies so I had some massive flashbacks at night, every single night. And those four has been since November. I myself attempted suicide back in August. And the only reason that I'm still here is my brother Mark literally called me 90 seconds before I went to try and execute my vehicular suicide. 90 seconds. And that's the only reason that I'm sitting here. But um, I wanna leave y'all with a couple little stats here. From a military perspective, every single day, we lose on average 22 veterans a day, which that band you probably can't read it completely but uh, it says 22 a day with 22 stars on the band representing every veteran that we've lost uh, I've had the band for about two years so that stat unfortunately has gone up to 25 as of last week um, and I do work with the Tilva Hollow Project which I'll send you the link for uh, it's an apparel company 30% of all proceeds go toward veteran suicide prevention and you'll see some of the really good stats of what we've been able to do uh, in the short period of time that we've had this organization uh, but again 30 percent of all proceeds go toward veteran suicide prevention so i want to leave you guys with a couple of uh quick little stats to just let soak in Again, as I said, every day we lose on average 22 veterans a day, which is now up to 25. Every day we lose 20, now 25, was 22. 
at the time I got the bracelet, but nonetheless, uh, 22 vets a day to suicide. So just let that sink in. And unfortunately, my four brothers now a part of that, which is hard enough. And from a mental illness perspective in general, I'm going to leave y'all with two scary stats to uh, just kind of soak in. Uh, every 18 minutes, someone dies from suicide. 18 minutes. Every 18 minutes, someone dies from suicide. And every 43 seconds, someone attempts it. So again... Every 18 minutes, someone commits. And every 43 seconds, somebody attempts. Some scary stuff. And that is nationwide, not just military. Uh, but again, military is um, 22 vets a day. So at any rate, uh, be happy to talk with you guys more if you'd like. I will send you guys the link in the body of the email but again love you guys keep doing what you do and you guys are helping more than you even realize <sighs> one thing i want y'all to understand man you never know what somebody's going to what somebody is battling with you never know man i love y'all and i encourage y'all to spread that love man one love the human race man we have a lot of amazing veterans on the channel and probably tons watching right now. Again, suffering. Walk outside. You see what's going on. You see where we're at in this country and, and sadly in this country. But this channel has grew to above the limit that I, I, I didn't I didn't know we would actually get this far, y'all. I didn't know my videos would touch millions of people, man. You know? Just come on here spreading love, keeping it real. You know? Calling out the truth, man. And I lost my dad. Almost It's almost been a year now, you know? And he was chasing the American dream. He gave us everything we wanted. I had a, an, amazing, an amazing dad. And as most of y'all know, I had to clean up his blood. With my own two hands, he decomposed in, in our childhood truck, man. And I never got to say goodbye to him. He was on the way to work, and um, he had a heart attack, and we could find him. He died on the way to work, and all he bragged about was in two years he would be able to retire. Pension. Social Security, that's all he bragged about, man. And he died on the way to work. So I, I see life completely different now, man. And I'm trying to just spread as much love as I can to people, man. Because I see my dad go out like that. Life is very precious, y'all. We're here for a short time, man. We're living a fast time travel. You know, and there are tons of people dropping like flies right now, man, chasing the American dream. You know, and that's one reason why I spread so much love on this channel. Because you never know what somebody's going through. And so many of you guys have loved on me for the passing of my father. So many people have reached out to me. We've done millions of views, man. And I never would have thought. I would get so much love from people around the world. You guys have even sent me pictures of your loved ones. A lot of veterans have reached out to me. You know, people have put get, given me their whole life story. I've even gotten stories that I can't even share on here from veterans. My emails. If you look through my emails, a lot of y'all would probably cry and your jaw would drop just being real 
I love y'all, man. Now, before we get into this, uh, I'll leave the link uh, down, everything down below. Uh, again, want to shout out to my brother Anthony, my brother Tony, Anthony or Tony, y'all can call him. But um, an amazing guy, man, an amazing father. And as y'all heard, you know, it gets real, and he's going through it. And there's also tons of other veterans right now probably watching this video that are going through it as well. And I want to say that I love you and I thank you. I never would have thought, man, we would, I never would have thought, y'all. You know, I kind of just see myself as a regular, a, a regular old guy, man. I'm just like y'all, man. No different. You know, we all pay bills trying to get around our taxes, you know. Trying to live and, and, and survive through these dark times, man. I'm pretty sure that's what we're all trying to do. There's tons of parents watching right now. Keep being amazing parents, right from wrong, leading your kids down the right direction. Especially in these dark, dark times, y'all. And as you can see, America isn't America anymore. But I know there hasn't been a lot of music, music reactions as we want to, as we're still uh, getting over copyright uh, claims and stuff and doing stuff like that and we've been really in the politics and other stuff but uh we still are checking out more music but uh i really want to check this one out and my brother requested for me to check this one out but well, we got a soldier's memory by joe bagman a ptsd song but y'all know it's finna get real and again like i say there are tons right now that are suffering with suicidal thoughts ptsd PTSD, anxiety, and depression. I want that to be known, you guys. And I encourage you to share this video with anybody you know that is suffering right now. Any of your loved ones, any vet, uh, our veterans, share the video around, you guys. And I want to tell y'all that I love y'all, man. And that the sun is going to come out. It's going to shine. I know it's raining. But with rain, that sun is coming. It's coming, man. Keep your head up. A lot to live for. A lot of you guys got families, man. Loved ones. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. I would do anything in the world, man, to go on another fishing trip. Another do another maintenance, like oil change in the in the in the driveway in the garage with my dad. Have another father and son talk, laugh. Another ride. We used to go riding a lot. Just talk, ride. You know. Them fishing trips, man. They were the best. It's gone now. Oh, you know, and um, again, I've talked to a lot of veterans and again, it's a, things that they've told me that they sent me pictures, emails, DMs. Again, it's a lot of things you guys wouldn't want to be a part of. A lot of things that are really make you again, make your jaw drop. Of what they've had to go through and see and battle through. People that really had to pull the trigger. Yeah. I've been exposed to it all of what I do on this channel. And I'm proud. I'm proud that I get to spread love to all you guys. Because I love y'all, man. One love. We love all. The human race. I don't care what you look like, what you smell like. I don't care what your age is. And most importantly, you don't care what your skin color is. You don't see color, man. The human race. So let's go and jump straight into this, you guys.
My name is uh, Staff Sergeant David Crockett, United States Army. My name is Tyler Southern. I was a corporal in the United States Marine Corps. Just outside of Samara, Iraq, uh, we were hit with a massive IED. We were given accurate intelligence that were up to six Taliban held up in a compound. Instantly, uh, just a blast of hot air uh, just came over me and an intense pressure that you, you couldn't imagine. Um, we all split up and took different sides. Um, I led my team to the far side, which was laced with four IEDs. At that point, it basically rendered me unconscious for 45 minutes. Um, I was in and out for about an hour. Uh, so I basically kind of came to in a, a hosp field hospital at uh, Fob Spiker in Tikrit. We all missed the first one on the front corner and turkey peeking a doorway. I stepped on the second. Uh, 10 pounds of homemade explosives, pressure plate IED, buried six inches, mm. detonated immediately. Mm.
I've, all, I've prided myself on finding the silver lining in absolutely every situation. Um, no matter how hard it is to find, there is a bright side to everything. Uh, I may have been relieved of three of my original issued limbs, but uh, that gave me the opportunity to find true love, uh, family, made him a possibility. Uh, Amen. You know, I just, Amen. You may have to widen your gaze, but it's there. Amen. Tons of reasons to keep living, to keep smiling. I love you guys, man. And again, I encourage y'all to spread this. Spread this to a loved one. Spread this to a veteran. Spread this to someone struggling. Again, I'm still struggling every single day, y'all. You know, when I'm off camera, walking around the house, I'm going through it myself, man. I was just crying yesterday in the morning thinking about my father, you know, thinking about life, you know. You know, and I got to tell him, like, losing him and losing my second father figure who actually, you know, was in Iraq. Y'all know, and y'all seen my community tab, he, you know, some things he told me that, I, you know, I really can't mention on here, but uh, he had to pull the trigger, you know, you know, he came back home, he had to, he had to come, he had to, he actually, had, he had to come back because he, while he was down there, he had got cancer, and, um, Seeing him go through those treatments, those chemo treatments, and um, his body and the way it did to him, I don't wish that on anybody. Um, and um, as he was praying, you know, he was saying he had an order. He felt like he was being punished. He felt like he was being punished for what he had an order to do. I'll never forget that, man. So rest in peace to my my cousin, who was my. He's actually tattooed. Most of y'all see my other videos. He's he's tattooed on my shoulder. So that's my second father, man. What an amazing guy. But you never know what somebody's going through, man. Especially in these these times that we're living in, you know, never know what people are battling through. And I also want to send a uh, love of condolences to Chase and his family if they're watching the channel today. Uh, that's another friend of a uh, childhood friend of mine who died uh, in the, the Navy training. He, he died during training. So I wanted to send my love and condolences to the, uh, his family if there are any of them are watching today's video. <sighs> but um, again, I want to send a huge shout out to my brother, uh, Tony, for sending this one over. Um, usually videos like this are not this long, but I uh, just want to bring awareness, man. I wanted to bring the love, you know, and that's one thing we're missing in this society, this world. Right now, through these dark times, man, is the love, man. We've forgotten to love one another, to come together, you know. I believe in love and peace, man. There shouldn't be any wars. And this is why, this is why I'm wearing this hat today. I know some of y'all might be thinking some way about me about this hat, but tons aren't.
It's a lot of policies and things that I, you know, I believe in, which, in which is why I'm wearing this hat today and why I'm going to continue to wear this hat and support what I support, uh, you know, this year, this election. And uh, what we're covering on the channel lately. You know, simple as that. And again, I love y'all. You don't have to love me. But I encourage you to spread the love to one another. Again, send this video out to someone that's going through it right now. That's struggling. A veteran. Someone that, that again, that's going through suicidal, PTSD, anxiety, depression. I want to tell you that I love you. And that you're going to overcome. That you're going to be victorious. That you're going to win. You're going to win. I love y'all, man. Y'all spread the love. And keep being amazing people. God bless you all and your families. I'll catch y'all in the next one, man.